Hi everyone, welcome back to my bathroom. It means I'm gonna be doing a skincare routine. And today, it's actually my personal nighttime skincare routine. I was thinking about it and it's been a while since I've shared what I'm actually doing with my own skin. So let's go ahead and do it. Before I get started, this video does include a partnership with Apostrophe. You can use my code Susan Yara to get your first online consultation for just $5. I'm gonna leave all the information below in the description box. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been using their service for a few years now. It's especially great because you get access to prescription treatments for your skin. I personally love it because you go online, you, you know, after you've like filled out your profile and everything, you get connected with an expert dermatology team and you can go back and forth with them about what prescriptions you're looking for, what skin concerns you have. I have tried a few different products from them. Right now I've been using their Hydroquinone 6% and so I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in just a bit on why I've been using that in my skincare routine. But it's a really great program if you are looking for access to prescription strength skincare treatments. I personally think it fits better into my day-to-day -day life because I can do all this stuff online and that just, for my life, that's just so much easier. Okay, so you know that if it's a nighttime skincare routine, chances are I am going to double cleanse. Even if I'm just wearing sunscreen, I am going to double cleanse, meaning I'm going to start my skincare routine with an oil-based cleanser. And by the way, I do wanna point out, yes, my brows are especially dark right now because I dyed them this morning and um, I left the dye on for like just about 10 extra minutes and it made my brows look so dark. I did it on purpose, by the way. I did want it to last a little bit longer. I have a feeling that when I go in with this cleanser, it's going to lighten them a lot. But if not, just bear with me. <laughs> Tonight for my first cleanse, I'm gonna go in with this one from Tatcha. This is the Indigo Cleansing Balm. I've just been using this a lot. I'm more than halfway through with it. I especially love that it has this little scoop that is just built into it. But you can see, I've been using this a lot. It's especially easy to travel with because it's like kind of compact, but you get a decent amount of cleansing balm into it. And it has this, you know, it's just so nifty everything about it. It is fragrance free. It's a pretty standard cleansing balm. So some people might find it to be expensive. This was sent to me in PR, so I'm giving it a try and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I apply it to my skin while it's dry to break down the makeup and hopefully break down all this dye. Not all of it, because I want some dye, but break down some of the dye. I do have a brow gel on also that might start coming off as well. And I don't expect it to fully cleanse my face. Just really break down my makeup and my sunscreen and the grime. So I'm going to wet this, emulsify it a little bit, rinse it, and then go in with my next cleanse. You can see where it has like left my makeup and I'm okay with that because sometimes people reach out to me. I'm sorry, my face is like dripping wet, but sometimes people reach out to me and they're like, I use this oil-based cleanser and it like never actually removes my makeup. It's just stayed there. That's okay. It broke it down. And that's why we go in with our second cleanse. I'm going to go in with this from my brand Eterium. This is our multi calm cream cleanser. I love this stuff. I especially love it when my skin is feeling sensitive after I've had treatments done. You can see it's like this creamy, cloud-like cleanser that feels like you're almost applying like a moisturizer to your skin. It has such nice soothing ingredients in it, but it actually cleanses your skin. That's a big deal to me when it comes to uh, cream cleansers. Anyway, I'm gonna use this because the weather's been changing. I've been traveling a lot. My skin's just a little bit drier than usual, which is actually like a form of sensitivity for your skin when it's dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and massage this into my skin and make sure that this makeup comes off. I'm gonna rinse and then I will be back. All right, so my face is nice and clean. You can see all that eye makeup did come off with my second cleanse and I didn't have to be rough with my skin to remove it. That's the best reason to double cleanse. Anyway, so I'm gonna surprise you guys a little bit and go in with a little Biologique Recharge Lotion P50. This is V, P50V. So this is not the original P50 that people have been talking about for years and that you see celebrities using and everything. This one's a little bit more gentle. The main exfoliating ingredient is gluconolactone, which is actually a PHA. There is lactic acid in here. Let's say there's phytic acid, malic acid, citric acid. There's even a little bit of salicylic acid, but it's so low that I consider it to be more like a little aid to the formula, not really even to exfoliate your skin. There's also glycerin in here. There is vinegar in here, which gives it this nice, terrible smell. <laughs> 
I was gonna say, it smells a little bit like cat pee or something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna use a little bit. I do actually like the original one, but you'll see with the steps that I'm using in my skincare routine, I don't really want to use anything too strong because I will have a retinoid in this routine as well. But I'm just gonna use this for a little exfoliation. Go up my neck. I also get my chest area. Don't forget your chest. Next, this is like holy grail status for me. You've seen me talk about it several times. It's the Dr. Surical Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. It's a bi-phase formula, meaning it has two different phases in the formula. You'll see two different layers, but I was shaking it up. I love this stuff. It has soothing ingredients like Camellia Sinesis in it. It also has just really nice soothing ingredients because you can see this, like the way the texture is. It is a toner for your skin or like an essence, but it also slightly, just very, very slightly moisturizes your skin. And I like to put this on right before I do an LED mask. Cause a lot of people always ask like, well, do you do your skincare routine and then do your LED mask? No, I like to put on really like just something that's going to soothe my skin like this. Cause I can't just go like from cleansing my skin and letting it dry out to using an LED mask, but I do like to use my toners first. All right, next up in my nighttime skincare routine, this is my current body LED face mask and also the LED neck and deck perfecter. <laughs> neck and deck, like decollete. I've been using and trying a lot of LED masks. I find myself going back to this brand specifically and I'll tell you why as I put it on. First off, let me go ahead and put this neck one on because it's a little bit more tricky. Okay. All right, so I like to kind of get this one tight. I've got such a small neck that it actually wraps around. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but this is how I do it. Anyway, I, I kind of pull this into my shirt. So you can see I have it like tucked in to my shirt. If I was wearing a robe, same thing. So it's got the LED panels here, LED panels across my chest. The reason why I keep going back to the current body LED mask and the, the neck deck, one, they fit all the, you know, like the wavelengths and everything that you want when it comes to an LED mask. But also with all the other brands out there, you know, I reach out asking them questions about it. Like what makes it different? Where is it made? And all that kind of stuff. And I feel like current body has done a really good job of getting me a lot of information. Besides meeting the standard of what you want, for your LED mask. They also have something called pillow technology that, you know, ensures that you're getting this distribution of, you know, the wavelengths and everything, the LED light. Go put this on, it's a little bit harder to talk now. Anyway, so this is what it looks like on. My husband is still not used to it, but I don't care at all. My kids are totally used to it. They don't care when I'm wearing this thing, but I usually wear it at night when they're sleeping, like right now. I'm gonna turn it on. It is just 10 minutes and surprisingly, it relaxes me. I can look at my phone and everything while I'm using it. Totally fine, take a look. I'll be back in uh, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes are up. I do want to point out, you get a little mark on your face, but it, it's going to go away in like the next few minutes. Or I don't even know. I go to sleep. It relaxes me to do this right before bed. It's such a funny concept, but it does. Something about it just makes me feel so relaxed. My skin looks a little red, but, um, and you can see like that mark from the <laughs> LED mask, but it's going to go away and it's also nighttime, but yeah, like, I don't have sensitive skin around my eyes. It's just from being so flat against my skin, it just makes it a little bit red. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with my hydroquinone. This is 6% hydroquinone. I make sure to focus it on the areas where my melasma really stands out. And you can see it's a really nice formula, by the way. I have had hydroquinone prescribed to me before from like compounding and gotten it from like a compounding pharmacy and stuff. And it's like usually this really terrible cream that's hard to use and incorporate into your skincare routine. This one from Apostrophe is very nice. Look at this formula. It's like light and hydrating. I can use other products after this and it won't feel too heavy. Just putting this all over my skin, but I really focused it. And if you don't know, the reason why I've been using hydroquinone, I actually used this in my last video too. I've been in between getting clear and brilliant treatments done. I might be getting a chemical pill done too. So whenever you've got something like melasma and you're prone to getting hyperpigmentation, it's really great to use a tyrosinase inhibitor to prevent those dark spots from forming, especially as you're getting these treatments done. So it's like kind of reinforcing the treatment because that's, you know, like helping to get rid of your dark spots as well. But then 
treatments also helping to prevent in case you know like your skin gets too irritated from those treatments it's just really great to use so you can't be on it indefinitely i'll probably stay on it just while i'm you know like in this cycle of getting these treatments done and it's been great it's been really wonderful for my skin i've seen a lot of people say your melasma is looking so much better hydroquinone that's what it is it is the gold standard ingredient when it comes to preventing and getting rid of your dark spots apostrophe so like i said apostrophe if you want access to prescription skincare treatments like hydroquinone then it is such a great option you can use my code susan yara to get your first consultation for five dollars it is such a steal now really quickly i don't always do this but i'm going to take this balm from prequel it's their skin utility ointment multi-purpose skin protectant it has a lot of petrolatum in it which is what i'm using it for you can see that my skin's a little bit red i got perioral dermatitis last year the minute i see any of that start up i'm like oh we're gonna prevent that from happening again and usually it's my retinoids especially when i go really strong with my retinoids that can cause that in this specific area so i'm just gonna protect it before i go in with my retinoid and also because i am getting that little bit of redness i'm gonna go back down to one of my holy grails for my brand it is our retinol complex cream it's a really gentle retinol but also super effective it's gentle because it's retinol with an o so in comparison to like a prescription strength retinoid or even like a retinaldehyde it's pretty gentle but at the same time the retinol is encapsulated in here so that just means that it's going to disperse pretty evenly I'm actually because it's a cream we also have a serum I'm gonna put it on kind of like a moisturizer the encapsulation helps to keep it stable it penetrates your skin better it helps it to kind of like disperse that's the wrong word for it but I'm getting tired now a little bit more evenly and slower and that's what really makes it gentle I make sure to put this everywhere so like if we weren't on camera I'd be like really getting in there it goes on my chest it goes on my neck and it is one of my favorites and honestly if you don't want to have this long of a routine like I'm doing right now this is like my one and done I wash my face double cleanse always and then I put this on and I am good to go I will wake up glowing in the morning but I'm a little extra and I'm aging <laughs> so I like to do a lot more now before I put my actual moisturizer on because you know I like to bring everything down to my chest I'm gonna put this on first it's a silicone patch for my chest this one is not the brand I usually use. I love the CO patches actually at night, right before I go to bed. Like when my skincare is like dried a little bit more, I'll put on the eye patches too. They just don't stick well to like a lot of skincare product. And I'm going to put on more moisturizer after this. Same with this. It's especially kind of cheap. I got it from Amazon. I was looking for a cheaper alternative, but not that great. <laughs> anyway, I am going to still use it though, because I paid for it. Silicone patches are great. I have been using silicone patches for a while now. I especially love to use them around my chest area. Hold please. Let me get this situated. I especially like to use it around my chest because I'm a side sleeper. And so it's great on my chest area because when I wake up in the morning, I was starting to notice I was getting all these like fine lines. They would go away, but I know what that means. It's going to get creepy over time. One of these days I'm gonna wake up and the lines aren't going to go away. So I'm trying to get ahead of it with silicone patches. Again, these ones are not that great because you can see how it does this right here. The CO ones go a little bit deeper and that's, what, that's honestly what I want because I'm preventing that like squish. But I do try to wear a silicone patch on my chest and around my eyes to help prevent more wrinkles. <laughs> All right, for moisturizers, it's one of my favorite products for my brand Atarium. It's our plant ceramide rich moisture cream. It is so buttery, so nourishing for the skin. And um, once it starts getting cold outside, it's the first thing I put on. Like I go right back to it because it really is one of my favorite, favorite moisturizers of all time. And of course I just wiped off all that balm I forgot. So I'm gonna bring it all down here. And when my skin gets really dry, by the way, I will double moisturize. I'll put on this and then I'll top it with our Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream, which is less of a moisturizer and more of a balm. Or you can put like an oil, like I just got this oil from Persali. You can put an oil, just a few drops is all you need on top to just really lock everything in. That's the whole point. Just locking it all in. Mmm. I love juicy nighttime skin. I had already put a lip balm on earlier in the skincare routine right before I put the LED mask on, but I actually just got this from Glossier. It's their hotcocobalm.com. This is supposed to be like the original formula. It's for the holidays. It's like limited edition. It does have a color to it, but I'm not going to bed yet. I was nostalgic for the old formula. And this was the only other one that was, they had like two flavors and this one was the only one that was left. 
I don't love it as much as I used to, or maybe it's just because it's the hot cocoa one. It wasn't my favorite. Like that's not what I was always into. I was like into the like coconut one and the mango one and everything. But anyway, that was my nighttime skincare routine for the most part. Sometimes it changes up guys, like throughout the week even, my nighttime skincare routine, my morning skincare routine, it can all change just depending on what my skin is experiencing. This is pretty much what I do at night, but it really does change up too. So remember, skincare is so personal to what you are experiencing and what works for me might not work for you and vice versa, and that is okay. The reason that you have options is because you might need products that I don't need and vice versa. So I hope that this was a helpful video for you. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask. You can find me on social media. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon. Good night. I'm gonna go sleep.